How's it going everybody? Happy Independence Day and 4th of July for those of you that live in the United States of America. For those of you that live anywhere else, happy regular day. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day. I just got back from visiting my family and I come back and I just saw the news of like, I mean this is all over the place, but I wanted to give my two cents on this and that's EA. And they were interviewed by uh, GameIndustry.biz and it's the EVP. Matt Bilby, and he's like one of the top dogs at EA, and he doesn't seem to know what's wrong with EA. He doesn't understand why he's the bad guys. Like, why are EA the bad guys? Um, here's his quote, it says, 25 years at EA and I still struggle with the external perception that we're just a bunch of bad guys, says Matt Bilby. We love making and playing games. Unfortunately, when we make mistakes on games, the world knows about it because it's the size and scale because of its size and scale what <laughs> how could you not know see this is this is what the problem is the top guys at ea they don't understand even after every single time they screw something up they don't they just don't get it they just don't get it it's just a mistake it's, it's oh boy i i i don't understand like how do these guys get paid that much money and they don't know what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is. Loot boxes. Not thinking that loot boxes are a problem. They've ruined endless games. So many games. When EA gets their hands on them, they just crush it into nothing. Um, even look at games that they, that they originally owned from the beginning, like Mass Effect. They ruined Mass Effect with Andromeda. It's just, and then they try to rush things out. They ruined Anthem. A lot of people were excited for Anthem. I was excited for Anthem. Anthem is a flop. There's no saving Anthem at this point. It's it's dead. So Bioware is getting screwed over. They shut down tons of companies, tons of games that had life and were going to be something got shut down. Look what they did to the Star Wars. Star Wars has, has just been a complete disaster. They've had the Star Wars license for years, since 2013, and they've only made Two games, yeah, two games. Jedi Fallen Order comes out this fall, but 2015 Battlefront was a cash grab. It was incomplete, it was just a disaster. A lot of people hated it because it was a cash grab. Battlefront 2 has been a disaster. They still don't have enough developers working on it. The game's full of glitches. It had the loot box problem, huge controversy with loot boxes. Like the whole loot box thing getting involved with the government was because of ea and their pay to win stuff with battlefront they have loot boxes in every single sport game like their fifa ultimate team all the sport games are the same game every year i bought fifa 2020 back in 2007 i bought madden 2020 back in 2004 like it, it's it's such a disaster it, and they have a monopoly on pretty much all the sport games because, I mean, they, they have such a tight grip on Madden and FIFA and stuff. Like, it's just, uh, it's so scummy. Everything they do is scummy. Unfinished games, they throw out games completely unfinished with the promise that more will come. Uh, like with Star Wars Battlefront 2, they promised the all DLC is going to be free. And it's going to be get constant updates and stuff. And they haven't even really promised... That, like they haven't fulfilled that promise. They promised that we would get weapons and maps and game modes and heroes and they still haven't even given us a single weapon for Battlefront 2 and the game's been out for a year and a half. Not a single weapon has been added to that game. So they continually lie and cheat and manipulate their, their gamers, the people that buy their games, they just straight up lie to their face time and time again and <sighs> It's stuff like that, and they don't listen. Like, everybody hates loot boxes. No one likes loot boxes. No one likes to spend money and not get a guaranteed cool thing from it. Like, there's not a single person that loves spending money on a loot box, and instead of getting the legendary item, they get a common or a duplicate of something they have. Guarantee not a single person likes that, but yet they defend it, Time and time again, they're still trying to defend loot boxes. They try to call them surprise mechanics. I just, I just don't understand. 
I don't understand. Oh, the green screen's got a kind of a weird effect going on. <laughs> like half gray, half white. <laughs> that's that's pretty neat. But anyway, back to my rant. Oh, I just this is this is the problem. They need to hire new people. 25 years and he doesn't get it. I'm 25 years old and I get it. I've been e buying EA games basically my entire life. Well, that's not true. I've had EA games bought for me as I was growing up as a kid. I and, and EA they weren't always like this. Like back 10, 11 some years ago, back before they discovered that microtransactions were a thing, once they figured out that they could like monetize and make money after the initial sale, that's when they started to become really greedy. That's when they got crazy with the microtransactions. It's like, hey, we can sell the game initially for $60 with less content and then charge them over time for for the stuff that should have been in the game at launch. So they sell half of a game and then you buy the rest of the game as DLC. And it leaves these months and months and months of downtime. I'm going to keep going back with Battlefront since it's, that's what I primarily cover on my channel. Like you have months like, they went months without telling anyone what the roadmap was, what the plans were for future DLC, and then that game has just been behind the entire time of its lifespan. Like, I loved Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and then Mass Effect Andromeda came out. They tried to just rush it. They tried to just throw out a half-finished product, and they ruined it. They ruined Mass Effect. They, I mean, they had the facial animations, and then Anthem... Anthem was was blown up out of proportion like it was going to be the greatest thing ever and then it was unfinished and it's broken as well. Oh my god. Like I haven't bought football game like NFL game, Madden game. I haven't bought one in years. Like me and my friend Cookie used to play uh, Madden with each other. But like we would wait. Like so let's say we bought Madden. I think we bought Madden 15. Then we waited like two or three years to, to buy to like to wait to before we got another Madden to see how many changes were implemented. Then we got one after waiting three years, and it was like the same game. Nothing had changed. The only thing, like the commentary was the same. They still had the same exact commentary like three years later, and it was like completely the same. I, uh, I just don't know. This is so mind-bogglingly st stupid. I don't get how this guy probably makes millions of dollars and he's that blind to what's going on. <sighs> but that that's that's it. That's all I want to say. I'm just going to start repeating myself at this point. But you guys know, gamers know, they all know what's wrong with EA. It's not just because we like picking on EA. It's because they actually screw us over as gamers. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this whole thing down in the comments below. I'm interested to see your guys' feedback. What do you guys think of this guy's 25 years of experience and he doesn't know what's wrong with his company? So, I don't know. But please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out another video. I hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July. I know it's, it's, it's getting pretty late, so you're probably catching some fireworks or something as this video goes live. But... Uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. How convenient to have you all together. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. The First Order will conquer you all. Soon we will reclaim the galaxy.